two-minute introduction. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you all so much for being here. My name is Debbie Gonzalez Inglesby, and I am running for re-election for Hayes County Commissioner Precinct 1. And I want to say that it has been an absolute honor serving you in this capacity, so thank you so very much for the opportunity. Uh, I was born and raised in San Marcos and Hayes County, so I've been here all my life. And so the decisions that I make on our commissioner's court, I do not make lightly. Uh, so as Hayes County continues to be one of the fastest growing counties in our state and nation, we must keep up with the demands on our services and in infrastructure. And some of those services that are extremely important to me, and I hope are to you also, are uh, one in the area of transportation. Uh, by working with our cities and TxDOT, we have been able to leverage resources to provide the safety and mobility to those traveling on local and state roadways. Uh, healthcare, uh, by partnering with our local hospitals, we are now providing more and better healthcare services to those needing, uh, for uh, those in need. At our local health department, we have access to specialty doctors that we never had in the past, and we have extended hours. Uh, our water and environment. I will continue to strongly support the efforts to protect our water resources and other natural resources from those coming in and threatening our way of life. We must ensure that we have the water for our children and for future generations, generations to come. Uh, criminal justice. You know, there are so many needs surrounding criminal justice and I commit to working with everyone to ensure that we have the services, the programs, and the representation for those needing assistance. And uh, as your commissioner, I will continue to be a strong supporter of uh, voter and election integrity, our law enforcement, and our veteran and social services. I will work hard to keep our taxes low while providing the services that our citizens expect. So thank you all so very much for being here and for the opportunity to come share with you. Thank you. What do you see as the biggest challenges facing Democratic candidates in Hayes County and how would you address them? Um, I think it's an opportunity. You know, uh, criminal justice reform uh, has been a big uh, topic and this uh, this uh, fiscal year, we put money in the budget to hire an additional bond officer. That officer will identify those that are eligible for bond, pass that information up to the judges, and help them make a more informed decision. Uh, we also uh, put in the budget for a magistration department, which will uh, have an associate judge a justice clerk and uh, contract services and my hope is that we can limit the number of individuals being processed through our county jail. We've also worked very closely with the Texas Indigent Defense Commission and have been awarded several grants for Padilla services for an additional, uh, oh goodness, uh, I knew I was going to forget. Uh, well, we're, we're doing a, a study uh, to look at uh, the benefits of magistration at uh, oh, pre-trial, pre thank you so much, Alex. <laughs> uh, and so I think the uh, criminal justice reform is a very important issue that we're working on. Thank you. Um, some of us face some really terrible traffic backups. Uh, the congestion and roads are kind of crazy in the that they come up. How will you prioritize needed improvements for new roads? And how will the necessary construction be funded? Um, well, we are still working on our 2016 bond uh, program. Uh, we have several roads that, uh, well, let me just tell you, in Precinct 1, which includes the San Marcos and Kyle area, we have nine major safety improvement projects that we are cur currently working on, and then many more throughout our, throughout our county. And so uh, we just need to continue to work on those bond programs and uh, bond roads and ensure that we are providing that safety, mobility, and connectivity that our citizens uh, need. And we will continue to work with our cities, as I mentioned before, with TxDOT and our school districts. I think it's really important because uh, as we continue to grow, um, the schools, uh, school districts are uh, uh, building uh, schools all over our county and we need to uh, partner with them to ensure that where they are building that we are planning for that growth and that we are able to improve those roads. Thank you so much. 